about that. I should have like switched to this camera earlier on. I was just like cleaning my glasses and I, I closed off the, did not pay attention. But hello, hello, welcome, welcome into everybody into today's stream. How is everybody doing? I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. I'm gonna continue with some vampire today. Sorry for the delay, by the way. I have I started drinking coffee after 5 p.m. and I'm suffering the consequences. I can't fall asleep at 2 a.m. in the morning. I had uh, one reason why I was not drinking coffee after a certain time. And yeah, sorry that I didn't have a stream yesterday for those of you that are watching me on Twitch. Uh, I had some things to do, then I met a friend, Ariel, who had coffee, and then I was just too tired to do anything. And I just wanted to chill and relax, so I played some uh, CFTs with Dave. Uh, but we're gonna be we're gonna be continuing with Vampire. Let me see where it is. There it is. Let's see if everything plays out properly. Yes, you guys can hear the game. Perfect. Yeah, it is an older game, so I need to like tweak around some stuff. Rather than a hospital. Oh, okay, I can start a new safe even. Oh, that means that I can play it off stream. Uh, rather than the hospital, let's continue. This is actually the first time that I've ever played the game. Just if we also, I'm thinking to get Neo 2 because it's available in Humble um, for Humble Choice this month. I think this is way too sensitive. And this is. Let me let me play around with the sensitivity real quick. Uh, video gameplay. Mouse sensitivity, put it to one. Yes, I think this this is fine. And my mouse st still acts normally. But maybe let me let me see. Can I, can I put it to zero? What happens when I put it to zero? No, definitely should be one. Let me put it to one mouse sensitivity. And w one is fine. And I am having it on the middle one for myself. On, like the mouse sensitivity on on the mouse itself is on the middle middle one uh we have 1600 what do we need to do here my blood and soul but how how have they not realized that he's a vampire rogue garden hall theater Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher, Sappho. <clears throat> Unknown. Uh, let's uh, speak with uh, what? this one. What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. The new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Mm. 
Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. Ha! <laughs> How brave! Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. I need a new, uh, my car. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I am very, very low on illiquids. I'm gonna need to mix one new, uh, a new one. Soon. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. I mean, it should last me. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should Ow. fall on you. May, June. Well, that's Maybe it. Let's... Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. No, it won't Just last me waiting for me to pop off. Like, they are. Think about it. It won't last me till June. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, um, I was speaking up. with my boss yesterday. Oh, the other day. No, it was yesterday. It was really? Yesterday. Well, if you have irrefutable Better proof, we're gonna start work I'll not maybe have to start on the first of May. Manor here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. Where one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. This, this See you on the next round. Oh, my mic was a little bit lower. Do I have... Properties, no properties, filters. Uh, so I don't have a filter here for uh, audio ducking, I believe, for YouTube. Audio. Believe should be on this one filter. Should be on compressor. Testing, 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 testing. I'll, I'll, I'll do this one off stream. I'll copy my Twitch sounds and everything for here. Because I've created a whole new like section in this area uh, for, for YouTube. And we have like their, its own overlays. It's on its own scene. It's on its own profile. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it out off stream. That's fine. Miss Jones, greetings. How do we feel? Oh, again? Waking a poor old woman in her sleep? There isn't a poor life needs saving somewhere? Now, 
I need to ask you a few simple questions. Well, if you really must. Have you Let's uh, try to... Comings or goings? It would be a great deal easier to make a list of things unsuspicious in this house of charlatans. Everyone here is very capable. I have not seen any instances of unprofessionalism. Thieves and murderers the lot. People have gone missing here, you know. Poof, without a trace. Come now, Miss Jones. Surely it's not that bad. <laughs> have you no eyes? This hospital accepts all manner of souls, regardless of origin. The proper sick cannot heal. <laughs> We're kept sickened by the refugees. If you could just tell me why you were admitted. It's terrible, Doctor. What with a pain in my chest, coughing up blood, and I get awfully tired. Wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't lost my house and all. I see. No one comes to visit, you know. Not even my own flesh and blood. I wonder why. I'll come and visit you shortly. Good night, Miss Jones. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Damn. The pain. It's there again. Uh, I kind of want to go and see if I can craft some things and also maybe progress my skills for more damage. If I can find my study that is hello what is this Ooh. i think this is my room yep dr reed uh, i wonder if the stuff refreshes here and also i might want to get bullets Okay, so interesting. So, what was the blue box? That was the blue box. It's giving me shotgun shells now, for some reason. Let me let me see what we can craft here. So I can dismantle some stuff for. Let's let's recycle these. I have recycled some stuff. Can I upgrade some stuff like this one? Increase stamina consumption by 10%. That's 310 points. Let's back out of this one. Maybe weapon. Maybe a weapon. We can possibly level up a weapon. I can level up this one. It will increase the stun as well to 15. This one adds two and a half, this one adds five, this one adds five, so that's ten. And this one will add the five, so that's fifteen, seventeen and a half. Thirty-two and a half at level five. But no stun. I 
I think I'm gonna upgrade this one for now. Just because I'm using it at the moment. And uh, I'm gonna increase the amount of stun that it goes. There. Let's uh, level up some of the skills, maybe, as well. So it's 220 damage. Oh, what is this one? Loss. Oh, this one is still not available. And then, when, then, then, what the heck can I do then? In this case, number of bullets that I can carry, stamina, health, bullet capacity. I mean, I can put one in healing them, so we can get more healing going. Mm. Damage. I'm gonna increase the damage of the bite by 400% because I just think it's gonna be beneficial. I managed to take them. Confirm. I managed to take them into a stun. Uh... Not into a stun. If I, if I managed to push them into stun, then uh, I can simply. I, I can simply just buy them and take a lot of damage out of them. It's locked, all right. The heck are you? Uh, that's the first one. Let's talk to her. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. There's nothing I can do here. <laughs> nothing I can do here. So. This what one. can you tell me about the strange man? visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. Okay. What can you- Let me get- I don't have anything more here with this one. So we need to find the other one. Is it this one? Here it is. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. I don't know if I... Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I don't remember I if we, if we have spoken to her before or not. Notoriety. 
You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. <clears throat> Do we have not? How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. All right, so she's not a snitch. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore. Does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Yeah, so we don't have any other hints at the moment from the personal questions. Uh... Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. No, let's Have you seen a strange this one? man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call oh, me so if you need assistance. This one's not any help whatsoever. So he's dropped. Uh, press V to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a dis distinctive glow. While looking at the citizen, you unlock special interaction. I look at the door of the screen. Okay. Did I? Okay, I have to be over here and then I need to press F. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful, 
You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Okay. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. I'm surprised that again these barrels are not giving us anything. I would assume that if they put the barrels and we can destroy them. If It will at least allow us to... Or not allow us to but like drop items for us. Some Somebody just died here, I believe. But I don't see anything here. has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I keep on breaking them, although I know that uh, nothing is gonna happen. Two of you. There's a third one. Definitely upgrading the bite was a good idea. Let me see if any of the other ones dropped something here where they died. The shillings. I still don't know what we use the shillings for. Like we still haven't gotten anything that we can use the shillings for. I feel like this one pushes me forward so I'm gonna stay here at least for now and try to look around this place what is this another weapon type oh maybe it doesn't push me forward Oh yeah, it doesn't push me forward. Oh yeah, let me go and see if there's anything there. Right. 
There is something there though, something glowy. Dragon, uh, considering the brotherhood of uh, St. Paul stole, uh, I would advise our members to be very the good doctor. How are you doing? Very really welcome, man. Uh, considering the brotherhood of St. Paul stole, I would advise our members to be very wary about uh, these so called scholars. Yes, uh, indeed, most of them are always affable. Not respectful whenever they approach us but it would be quite unwise for a discreet circle like the Asklon club to foolishly speak about our goals our members or our traditions uh i i, I also would like to remind our fellow members that the brotherhood itself is ancient enough to have some mysterious traditions one of them according to some information not information, in informants could be the ritual of the so called ban of the dragon. Uh, it seems that in certain conditions, when the Brotherhood of St. Paul find a violent or bloodthirsty mortal, they call upon his upon him this ban. What it is exactly, I don't know. Uh, does it really exist? I don't know for sure either, but what I've established as facts. It is that whenever a hostile or vindictive vampire has threatened London, disappeared without a trace after the Brotherhood pronounced a ban upon him. The loyal Orgo, Orgo Bansha himself has never been foolish enough to openly provoke the Brotherhood. This is a lesson we must all remember. Never be considered a dragon by the Brotherhood. From the law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave Founder. There's something here. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a ratata. I'm guessing that's where I need to continue to, so I'm not gonna continue there. How are you doing, Billy? How has it been? Welcome in. You have discovered my secret location where I go to get away from you. I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. If I offend officer, please, please forget. Uh, let's see the, then in this case, what is, what is here? Citizen to save careful the enraged, not in the endangered citizen might not survive the next night. Go check on him. What am I checking on? Sixes now are so easy to kill. They don't deal that much damage to me no more. I 
Okay, I, I don't understand it, but okay. Well, that one is a level 8 actually. I uh, definitely the lag that allows me to... the fresh air don't worry my friend uh, I don't get why uh, it doesn't allow me to target them properly Instantly started protecting itself. There we go. Now this should kill it. Now let's take this one, take that one. Is there anything else here? My friend, if if I let you live, would you would you promise that you won't tell anybody that I'm a vampire? Who the hell are you, my friend? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Citizen the rescue, the rescue says he will return to his districts the the following night. Okay. Are you sure you're all right, sir? <laughs> I got some stuff here. I cannot break the barrels there. But I can sure continue to investigate around this place. This will push me out of the the area here. And this as well. And that's not what we want. We want to be in this area. Let's see here. But I think upgrading the stick was a good idea. And especially adding more stun to it. That one particularly, I, f I think it was a good idea. Ah, uh, this this seems like a boss fight area. It is a boss fight area. What sort of creature is this? Sewer beast. Oh my god. You attack me, I attack you, my friend. So far, I, I played it last time as well on Tuesday. I 
Come here, my friend. Let me fight. Bad. I didn't notice if uh, it recovers. Oh, this recover HP when it bites me. So uh, it would be a good idea for me to avoid it. This definitely also recovers HP whenever it bites me. This is this is not a large enough area for the fight. Simply because of this. Really, by the way, you might want to change your name because it has your name in there. Why all these stuns? Because that's what you need to do. That's why it has a stun bar, sir. You want to stun him so you can bite him. And I just... In, in, not increase, but like upgrade my uh, what's it called. I just upgrade my um, steak, the one that allows me to stun. And also, me being able to bite the enemy. The axe is way too weak. My friend, the axe is way too weak. Also write in English. Yeah, th this axe is shit. It has not been upgraded, so it's really, really bad. I don't have anything to upgrade the axe with. And you're a vampire, you're not Van Helsing. You would like to use your abilities. What sort of creature is this? <laughs> So in order to use one of my abilities, I need to stun him like this, so I can bite him like that. So I can get more power for my other abilities, or more, more like my other ability. It reacts way too fast to me. Yeah, this is this is not a ideal place. Like it's way too small. If I am not using the axe, there is a reason why I'm not using the axe. <laughs> There is no way for you to parry or block. So I just need to dodge. The axe is way too slow. In hits and it doesn't do a lot of damage. What sort of creature is this?
this is why I don't lock. Because when I lock, it's doesn't matter what I do, it pushes me towards the enemy. That's why I don't lock, Billy. Exactly why. So yeah, the, the, the axe, you're asking why I'm not uh, using the axe, it's 72 damage. I believe I do more damage just stabbing him with the, with the, with the stake. And I also stun him. Yeah, you won't stun the enemy so you can attack them with bite and you can uh what sort of creature is this no You have parry only with certain weapon types and I don't feel like holding a two-handed weapon just to have parry. Oh, it, it grabbed me. Gonna catch me. This doesn't do much damage to me. That one does, though. This is not, not enough space for me to move around. I need more space for this battle. <sighs> so you wanted me to use the axe. Okay, I'll stun it. What sort of and I'll use the axe. This? Doesn't allow me to move around. Zero. Fifty damage. No point. I do ten damage through the stake, but it also stuns the enemy. And I can do this afterwards. Axe is just for finishers on normal enemies. Oh, okay, I managed to uh, escape him. I 
amazing. Yeah, as I said, this is not enough space for anything. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe I'm not dead, but he's back to full health almost. Yeah, uh, I don't feel like locking on. I don't feel like locking on does, does anything good for me. Mm, grab me. mechanics are a bit clunky because like he stops and he stands there and he does nothing all right let's see do i have a dodge i don't think i do but let's see i think i need to unlock it and i haven't unlocked it keep binding dodge space bar As uh, me pushing forward a little bit is dodge. Okay, I'll what try to use it. Creature is this? It's not exactly dodge. It's not what I would call dodge. But okay, I'm gonna use it. Allow me to move out. So yeah, we can we can call it a dodge then. A dodge. Help me out. I am taking a lot less damage now. <laughs> okay, I guess we did have dodge, I just never really used it. Good call, Billy. But I don't like locking on to enemies. It doesn't allow me to move as openly as I want to. Alright, 
it does, it does make me a little bit more inaccurate as well. It's not really a dodge, it's more like a dash, my personal opinion. I wouldn't consider this a dodge, it's a dash, but this dash definitely helps me out to defeat him. Is that the final blow? Here's what's left. It was Not the final blow. Check, but I should anyway. Uh, nurse can is voucher if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, whenever you, wherever you're from. Uh, come to Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrescu's house and present this coupon. Uh, so that's in a different language as well. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. I think it would it would not be a uh, bad idea for me to level up the bite as well. Oh wait, for blood. The rats give me experience. I can't believe I'm doing this. No, they don't. Never mind. I need thousand three hundred experience to level up my other attack. Here, so you don't have a dodge, it says it's dodge, but that's dash, definitely not a dodge. But it did help, help out. I might need to increase my stamina next. Hello, game. Uh, 
Is there anything here that I can take? There is nothing here that I can take, is there? So as I said, the, the, the axe is good if you if you level it up. At the moment, it's shite. It's not good at all. Is there anything that I can find here? There is nothing that I can find there. Hospital for the influenza. This hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital full, please go back home. If only there were more of us. Oh wait, hello. Less there is something here. More determination. I know I can count on you. I wish I could say the same for the. Hmm. It sends me into White Chapel. I am higher level, so I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to. Do the side quest as well, because there was a side quest unless it doesn't allow me to go for a side quest anymore, which I think it is, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. been defeated I know but at least I managed to kill one of them as well At the moment I get easily overwhelmed when there's more uh, enemies around Reach White Chapel. I mean, I will need to go for them regardless in order to reach White Chapel. So, I don't need to fight those guys. There's way too many of them. He's gone. 
There we go. Now it's gonna be a little bit easier for me. Now I just need to take care of that guy with the shorty, not shorty, with the with the fire arrows, with the fire crossing. There as well. <laughs> oh wait, this is dead end. Unless no, the, no, it isn't. Never mind. There is. Uh... Oh, that is a dead end, or that is going to be a dead end. Oh, investigation. Wrong target. fighting three at the same time that's more like my question as well only one left it's gonna be a little bit easier Finish him off. How did you shoot me through the wall, my friend? I'm behind the wall, he shoots me through the wall. Is this is the wrong investigations one. This one's dead end, this one's dead end. Oh, there's some shillings here. Some 
some bullets. What is this here? Some shotgun shells. I'm taking everything that I can get my hands on. that I don't need to go through all this again. Because those three downstairs were a pain in the ass. Although whatever I have killed so far has not returned. Like for example there was a level 18 vampire or skull or whatever they're called there. Earlier and hasn't really returned. Let's see. Nope, I need to redo the, the fights. I don't think there's gonna be anything left though, like I have already collected the loot, so... It shouldn't uh, show me the loot at least. I don't need to do all the fights, and I can collect loot from the kill enemies, but that's about it. Right? Then how come, maybe because it was like a mini boss roaming the streets, I don't know. Maybe that's how, there's some shillings here that I missed earlier. Yeah, because there was like a mini boss over here of sorts. Hasn't really returned. But then, he, then again, these guys... Hello, what is this? D these guys have returned in the, the mouse. I have this thirst for blood. Ooh, okay. What is this? Refill all. I have a workbench. I have a place where I can increase my... Let's see, what, what can we do here? Uh, skills wise damage 400 what is the next level for this one it is level 10 in order to increase 600 percent healing oh honestly Oh, that needs 2,000. And damn. That's a lot. But it, honestly, after that one, it would be this one. Because it gives me stun as well. And it does give me more damage too. And it does stun the enemy, yeah. Yeah. 
then it's gonna reduce the time that it takes for the skill to recover. So it's not gonna be 3 seconds, it's gonna be 3 seconds. Ah man, I thought I could increase the claw, but I don't know. I can increase the healing or I can just increase the amount of blood that I'm getting here. This one's level 20. So we're gonna recover 80% more blood than we usually do. Let's see what else I can upgrade. So unfortunately this is the maximum of this one goes. Put it to level. That's done. Back speed. Fifteen, ten, fifteen. The the hawk saw is a little bit faster. This damage by ten, and this a little bit more. It's a little bit more damage. This will increase damage though. Damage that by 10%. So I believe this one would make me a little bit faster. Attack speed 5, so that is very very slow. 10, 10. 15, 10, 10, 15. Uh, so maybe we can switch to the Hacksaw instead, yeah, because it does consume less stamina and it does faster attacks. Yeah, well, this one would give him more damage. It is slower. So I'm gonna increase the level of the Hacksaw. I'm gonna be using the Hacksaw for now. Absorb, absorb blood points, man. I can increase the damage to 82. That way I'm gonna do more damage. I don't know which one I should select. I'm gonna do the damage one. I already have a way to collect both points. I 
this feel a little bit faster, yeah. What did it say there? I'll take you. Oh wait, these guys respawned? Why did you guys respawn? guys also down now it seems that the more levels i get the less damage i take from the enemies should be that one going down but it does seem that now they deal a little bit less damage to me I might want to increase my stamina on the next upgrade that I'm doing. I'm an upgrade is the next thing that I'm doing, definitely. The other option would be for, for me to respect my my skills currently and do the stamina upgrade now. But I believe that everything, that, yeah, th these ones are already emptied. So only the enemies respawn, but everything else stays empty. 
so this is where I fucked up with this guy here. Ditto. Kill that one as well. Oh, hello, what is this? And you steak? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's a new one. I need to see how far I can upgrade it. Because that one gives mo more stun. What is this? The Great Hunt, Hail to our Fallen Comrades. Hail to our Fallen Comrades, Hail to their bravery, for we prevailed. Uh, the guard prevailed, my brothers. We hunted them down. The enemies of mankind hidden in the dark tunnels of our modern cities. We found them in their nests and dens, and they perished. We bought the fire of battle to the black, blackest pits. Uh, I never had such a large scale war between war being engaged by mortals against immortals. Remember the victory. Uh, remember this victory, my brothers. For its use and proves our methods. Never sleep, never surrender, and never give up. Yes, my brothers, our method is good, and England is safe for tonight thanks to you, thanks to those of us bitten and killed by the enemy. Or our trembling hand when they turned against us. Do not tremble, my brothers. Do not doubt. I cry tonight for the fallen comrades. I cry for I am an old man who finally saw my goal accomplished as I live my last years on the earth. The guard of Bruin uh, is only half a century old, and we already accomplished. We have already accomplished much more than the much more than traitors of Saint Paul in uh, half a millennium I feel like this sentence is not spelled correctly this was our first great hunt let them let them leeches who survive our uh, remember we won't stop from the adversary I can do stone founder of the guard uh, the guard of prevent uh, report about Pembroke 2nd of November from Scott Scout uh, Louis Cagney uh, to Mr. Geoffrey McCollum, Pembroke Hospital survey vampire activities. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, and I don't have yet, yeah, I don't have the, the cursor to keep track. Um, two weeks now, uh, and we can confirm vampire activity. The, the first, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever, she acts like a mental patient to hide her through unholy condition I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decaying but it gets worse the administrator of Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea according to our team leader Amanda Tilton who died yesterday in a fight against the skull by the canal he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. Uh, if that's true, then there may be something big going on at the Pembroke. Uh, maybe even a nest of vampires protected by those blade traitors of the stall. We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly uh, with reinforcement and heavy gear. Okay, so that is kind of bad. Because that lady has a big mouth on her face and talks bullshit all the time. So the hospital is in jeopardy because of her. Uh, let's see. Is there a way for me to move into the other area? There isn't a way for me to move into the other area. So I think we have done that side quest. Where can I track my quest, by the way? Uh, I have a 
have not paid. What is this? No number for promotion recruit. Uh, what was this one? Wrong target. Let's try this one. Are you sure about the spice? Uh, let's go back to the hospital real quick because um hello this is giving me so much stuff i mean i'm not complaining i'm fine yeah give me more please give me more i just noticed that uh where the hell is the crease lady I just noticed that I can I can get side quests. Says I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Hello, have you seen a crazy lady? No? Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Never sure. Or more like I, I just noticed that I have so many side quests. Let me go to my study real quick. Because I think I can have a better stake. It's locked, all right. Really? Still locked? Who the heck are you? Dr. Tippes, Dr. Circle, Akroy. Okay. Let me see. Uh... Oh, yeah. That is definitely a better stake, all right. Can I upgrade? I cannot upgrade. No. No. I do want this one though. Or more like I will want this one. It does is consume a little bit more stamina. Decreases stamina consumption by 10%. Decreases stamina consumption by 10%. Honestly, I would like to add the stones. Like this one fine that decreases it. But I don't think I need more than that. Although I can put it under 30 stamina, I can strike more times with it. 35. If I only knew that I'm gonna get that one, I was not gonna upgrade this one. But then again, we used it quite a bit in the in the previous fight. The flower is dying. It needs water. Oh, give it water, man. What do you mean? Oh yeah, it's dying. It needs water. Let me see. Can I... Do I have enough to increase my stamina a little bit? What is the stamina? Increase your stamina. I do need to increase it. I don't need to increase it. I don't have enough though. It needs 300 experience in order to... Actually, can I... Can I respect some stuff? Oh, I can reset everything, can't I? Yes, I can. Okay, so it is obvious that we we'll need to do to do this one in order to to get anything whatsoever. And This close combat. I need this one. Hmm. You know what? Actually, how much HP do I have? Let me, let me see something. How much HP do I have? If 
520. I can skip the HP. I can skip the HP and I can go for this one. I'm just gonna give me a little bit more stamina. I do want to have this one. At least 40% of it. There we go. I do like this one being at 400% damage. I need level 8. This one also needs level 8. Then healing for the blood. I want to require level 12. Yes, that one caps out 200 healing and then gives me an instant boost that's not bad actually recovery recovery i don't know which one i want to do here in this case i kind of want to unlock this one so it can allow me to go for this I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hope that uh, speaking with that lady and finishing that quest is gonna give me enough experience to level up this one afterwards. I need to find the crazy lady. The pain. It's here again. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. Guys, there's a hospital. That's Pembroke nowadays. And there she is. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm. Rich, vibrant blood. What's the question? Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. Mm. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. As this one is grayed out, and this one... I don't know why it's not grayed out. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. 
Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Ooh, what is she giving me? I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I can kill her eventually. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Yes, it gave me enough so I can go and level up the other uh, thingy. I can level up my skill now. Better level them. Confirm the changes. Okay. She has fatigue. Uh, let's see what I can whip up. So we have two patients with fatigue. Can I make two fatigue uh, serums? I can. Fatigue, cold. Okay, so we need one, two, three, three, four fatigue. One, two, two for anemia. I do not know some of them. Uh, one for cold and one for migraine. I don't have anything for migraine yet. I don't have the recipe. But I do have for the cold. And I believe I can craft one more for fatigue. I don't have enough for anemia though. Let me go and try to heal some patients then. Oh, hello. Is this one still locked? Is this still locked? Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. 
OH has called. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. So how can I treat them then? There again. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Fear and disgust on every street corner. What do you have, my friend? So this should healthy, Charm. So it's healthy as well. This guy has anemia. You're healthy. Don't tell me that I wasted all of my resources for nothing. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Oh, okay. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Is recovering? I have anything on Thank the personal you for your time. We'll talk later. I know that Pembroke will prevail and survive. You're, you're healthy. So now we know how to treat him. How are you doing, Daisy? Oh, cap, my Good captain. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I can't. Yeah, how are you doing, Daisy? Welcome in. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Hand pink, hand pink, waving, waving the cap of great seas. How are you doing this? How, how has your day been? Welcome, man. Really was here, I don't know what he disappeared to. Like, it, it's not like he does you guys any courtesy by writing in English, but he was here earlier. Uh, so we healed two, I believe, or they're in recovery. Uh, who else? I don't have anything for migraine. Big anemia. I'm doing good as well, Dizzy. I'm doing good. Treatment for fatigue. Oh, yes, this lady needs treatment for fatigue. Wait, did I not make enough? I think I might have not made enough. Because I gave to... Who did I give? I did give to this one. So maybe I miscalculated. This one is fatigue. This one is fatigue. This one is fatigue as well. And this one is fatigue. I'm going to give to the patient first. Hopefully I have enough to make more. Damn. The pain. There's blue white eyes. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I I was busy, so. But in the circle. I started a little bit late today again. How is my son doing? Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No, I don't feel well actually. 
Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Yeah, so we have killed a couple of patients. Let's see who else. Do I want this one or this one first? With the anemia one, I do need one more. Let's. As I'm here, I'm. I'm just gonna treat this guy. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Any news about my operation? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Uh, so this this chat is also recovering. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. You always knew the words to calm the children, Helen. As for me. I have not met this one yet. Have I met this one? I have not Milton Hooks. I don't. Actions, the prices of the stocks of merchants and this have changed. Alright, so this one is recovering, this one is recovering. I do not have enough for another anemia one, so maybe I can make another fatigue one for this one. Actually, maybe I will have enough for another anemia one. Let me let me see. I'm gonna go up. Actually, I'm gonna go explore the hospital to see if I can find more things that can make uh, serums with. Nothing here. Maybe on the second floor somewhere. Maybe Swansea's office, if it allows me to go there. Excuse me, ma'am, passing through. Excuse me, pardon me. God damn it. The pain. Here again. Yeah, this is the locked one. This one leaves me out. Um, let's see. Another medical box here. Uh, more medical boxes here. Can I go into Swansea's office? I can. Swansea, my boy! Do you have anything for me? Anything that I can use to treat patients? You do not? Okay. So um, I'm not gonna bother you then. Have a good day. This one is a dead end. This one is not allowing me to go to any other floor there. Fake door. It's not really a fake door, it's just not open. And this one is locked as well. Now let's see if I can craft some more medicine. Oh wait, I have an extra one. And I can craft the anemia one as well. Let's go. So maybe I have made the correct amount of medicine that I need. Have I made the correct amount of medicine that I needed?
Yeah, I don't have anything for migrating it though. So I can give this chat here. Where, where was he? He's over there. I can give him some medicine. So many deaths. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet yeah, smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Yeah, Goodbye for also recovering. Now. That's investigations. The chair is suffering from fatigue. I have not met this one yet. I think we should be fine now. Like as soon as I treat majority of them. Uh, let's find uh, the nurse. Damn. The pain. He's recovering. Who are you? You're recovering. Nothing. Wait, I have not spoken to him. There she is. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doc. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? I will be fine as soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Doctor Reed. Thank you. There we go. Call me if you need assistance. So this one it says unknown. The why does it say unknown? Have I not spoken to him? Maybe I've not spoken. Sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shit. Oh, okay. Hospital. So this is That's the ambulance quite a driver. Blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Goodbye, Milton. So, what I've noticed is, he, he said... Old Good habits evening. die hard, evening, but it's it said oh, so they have, uh, they they have made a uh, mistake with the uh, uh, oh, so maybe hmm, let's trade. I have fatigue as well, my friend. I don't know if I have enough for another fatigue medicine. Uh, but uh, what I was saying is they, they made a mistake with the uh, subtitles. They said all instead of old. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden. But I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Uh, so, so have a new investigation. Front, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. We can do some side questing to get some more experience Are going. Are really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. 
You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their elf. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Tracer drop, yes. Is this a poop ship? Thank you, thank you for the poop ship, Dizzy. Now let's go for the personal questions. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. So only then I realized I could make a fortune. All right, so he's... Uh... I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Well, let's see what he has. Ah, uh -huh, so that's where we use the shillings. Okay. Milton's shotgun. I mean, I'm not using any of those weapons. I do want to get uh, what's this. For range weapons. Range weapons. Can use this filler metal for welding. So what I want to purchase from him is this one and that one. Alright, so we know that he has fatigue. Let me see if I can go and whip out another batch of uh, fatigue medicine for him. I cannot get to that box. Can I take it? I cannot take it. Are you healthy? You're healthy, that's fine. Oh, we might be able to kill her later on as well. And as uh, Steph made me kill one uh, the other the other day, uh, I'm just gonna kill everyone that I can. On this run, and then we're gonna do another run afterwards. Uh, let's see, we need one more fatigue medicine. Pneumonia, sepsis. Bronchitis, cold. I can craft one more fatigue. Now let's get. Was it fatigue for him? Oh, I have stuff. I think it was fatigue for him as well, no? Yes, it was, and this one is Rakesh. Where is Rakesh? 
no. This should bring the district up now. Not know you. You have fatigue. This one is stable. You're fine, you're fine. Okay. I don't think I can level it up. If I can level it up, I would use it. Yeah, I have only one. I need two. I need two more. I need three in total. Then I will have enough for this. So I can give more stun to it. It's gonna be 23 stun points. I don't have any more recyclables. Uh, we're gonna go. Wait, what is the. Oh, that's the shop merchant. Mm. Should I make another. I'm gonna make another fatigue just in case go I go back to the previous area and I can give uh, one more to that other chat. That is there, so I have to fatigue potions on me or medicine on me. Now let's go to Milton and give him the fatigue uh, potion. Milton, where are you, my friend? There you are. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah. Do you need any medical help? Milton? Always. I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable Let's see if I can get the uh, more handles. He hasn't restocked them yet. Okay. Ah, let me let me see if I can do some side quests around here. I saw that there's a lot of side quests around here. This one has been done. Uh, let's, uh, cause this one is close. Let's track the one for Milton. It's in the back garden. Enter the backyard garden. Let's go there now. Boxes, yes, please. Don't mind if I do. And all the medical supplies I can get my hands on. Plenty of sick people to be treated. Is that the morgue? I think that was the morgue, no? the old mork is there any medicine that I can get from here there is some apparently is dead end. I 
Oh, hello. I just almost missed that one. This is where we came from. Ooh, some shillings here. So that's what we use the shillings for. I was wondering what do we use them for. Apparently it's a trade with Milton and other merchants that we find on the streets. Oh, this has another floor. for you to die, my friend. Yeah, the more I level up, I've noticed that the less damage I take from enemies. And there's some items that I can take from killing those chats. Medicine. I'm guessing it might be it might be raising my defense as well. I don't know. I cannot enter. I cannot enter there yet. Maybe I can enter further down in the storyline. It doesn't show it on the ground when I use my vision. I thought it would show it on the ground, these little baggies that they're dropping. Would have been nice. that you drop because you drop items there we go
play the okay. I was like, does it not allow me to loot them while there's a uh, thread around? been naughty today there should be another baggie here somewhere unless it combined uh, them into one Locked. Still locked. Okay, so traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Oh. <laughs> Tippett has made an egregious Tippets in trouble. What is this here? There's some room there. I'm wondering if it now it's gonna allow me to investigate the other places. I need to go further down here. It's gonna give me the boss fight again, because I think there was a boss fight here. I mean, I see normal enemies. Avon, to suck your blood and then kill you. Hmm, it does give me the boss fight. He has progressed in level though. You resisted it? Come here, my friend. I have a little bitey bite. Bro, give me this. Thank you. Now, where's the other chat? Because you probably dropped something as well. Yes, you did. Uh, is there anything else here? It's not really a boss fight. If anything, it's the mini boss at, at, at best. This is not a door that is accessible, at least not at this point of time. 
I don't think there's anything else here. Let me see. What can I do? I don't know. We have now some available things for sepsis, anemia, and what not. Still haven't discovered the migraine one. Unknown. I need to figure that one out. Oh, so this is all passive, okay. Uh, six out of six, twelve out of twelve. Junk, so I have some junk that I can sell. I have one treatment for fatigue on me. Ah, uh, let's go back up. The good thing is that we got some medicine here in this area. I think it's gonna respawn some of the enemies upstairs now. I might be wrong though. But hey, it's experience nevertheless. I get more XP by dealing with them. All plunge into chaos is uh, will be reported missing, their quest will be lost, and dangerous creatures will begin to roam the streets. Hopefully it doesn't do that, because I have been like killing enemies left and right here. Status is serious for this area. Okay, I think I found the place where I need to be at. Photography in a wall, photography of a smiling, loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Pippa? So, Who is Pippa? Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. This is my friend. We got the wallet, we can bring it to Milton now. This might be the morgue. This is most probably the morgue. There is a door here. We're back in the, uh, the Pembroke, the hospital. Oh, hello. Eat. Fine now. I feel like I should do all the side quests here before I can do anything else. Or before I do anything else. Just in case the status of the thing goes to critical. Very well. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. <clears throat> Always. I have some good news, Milton. <clears throat> what? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. 
Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Oh, we got 40 shillings. Oh, cool. Oh, we got new... Oh, yeah, we have everything. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Okay, so that should bring me with new hints for people then. I'd like to... Wise choice. Great. Good evening, Milton. Yeah. Good evening. I'd like to... What's that other tab? Oh, I can sell stuff as well. Oh, okay. yeah. Cool. Good to know. So the investigation here should be completed. Yes. Missing ingredients. Who is this? You're on the correct one. You're on the correct one. Wait, actually, I need to. I need to interrogate you. Good evening, Doctor. This is their personal. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannigan. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Goodbye, nurse. Okay. Call me so, if you need assistance. One down, another one to go. Where is Tippett's? I think it's outside as well. Wasn't that Tippett's over here? Yep, that is Tippett's over here. Good evening, Dr. Tippett's. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Wait, what is your... You're healthy. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. Huh. She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. 
this thing. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Oh, at least he admits it. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. I see he knows his error. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbetts, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Okay. Ooh, 100 shillings. Nice. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea, read poetry, and wait for death. There is a couple of more hints here. Goodbye, Doctor. That I haven't really unlocked. Alright, so this one is d done. I think we need to get as many as we can of those side quests done. There is a side quest here. No more. No investigations there. My grain. I hope I can find um, the med not medicine, but like what's called for the mine grain. They. they Oh, I do need to find the medicine, but I need to find... I need to find as well the... What is this one? 174 meters that way. I need to find not only the medicine, but the recipe in order to make the medicine. And need the ingredients for that medicine too. So, oh, that's that's the docks. I need to go to the docks. Okay, that's fine. You listening? Are you guys blocking me off? Last warning, sir! Anima! Anima! No! 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 Many of these guys here. Ugh! 
I hit a monster. Yeah, I think sometimes it combines them. Reach the pharmacy. Now let's try to reach the pharmacy then. Or in Poplar. Okay. This openable it is not. So many dead people around. Got a pill box. Which my result in me dismantling and getting some things that I can use to make more uh, potions or not potions. Uh, not a good place for a stroll. Stay away! Over there! <laughs> <laughs> You guys are blocking me off from going to where I need to go. Should be somewhere here. It seems to be in that little street here. I can also double attack them Apparently so after I stun I do the Second attack Where is his spawn? I see him There is the game some blood I should be able to kill him I see him there we go bite him and that should be his death here after yep. If if it didn't if the bite didn't kill him, I was gonna kill him regardless with the, the 
What is Dr. Strickland's list? Oh, Dr. Pembroke Hospital list of substances and greens. Uh, America. Okay, okay. Potassium permanganate. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. I wish we could fast throw. I don't think we can fast throw, can we? Uh, yeah, I don't think we can fast throw. How can I remove ma a marker? Off? Wait, there's some shillings here. Yeet. Anything else I can find here? Ah, I'm already on the other side, okay. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. So it's you who saved my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Oh, okay. So we have a new character here. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me. I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. You have a call, eh? What can Tell you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Brave man. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Ah, uh, I don't know. What's the questions? 
We'll be what able caused to... your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. I have Goodbye, nothing else for him. Take care of yourself. So he has a cold. Cold. My green. What's up, Chicky? How are you doing? Hello. Uh, let's speak to this chat then. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me, it smells like the purest mountain air. Uh -huh. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time... Would you like to talk about the savior, Lethal Company? What do you want to talk about, Lethal Company, Lethal Company Chicken? No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by Is the canal... Is crying? Like why, why are you crying? Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. It tortured us? What do you mean, tortured Tell us? Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Okay, we have a clue. For migraine, I don't have treatment for migraine yet. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. But you're not giving up. What do you mean you're not giving up, chicken? I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. Science? No, we're gonna do science. Fresh air. We're gonna do science. Do you want to talk so about for science? Have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours. I was doing my battle pass in CFTs yesterday Perhaps with Dave. Would help to talk about it. I am well, almost done. I have one only level left. My case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. Oh, I was awake really earlier. I just had some things Tell to do. About it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror, the shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Shameful thoughts? Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I oh. Killing, Newton, killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. So he almost 
aid the other Chad? Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Okay, so we're... I don't have anything here. We have only one more hint left. But uh, it's locked. Maybe I need to speak to Newton Goodbye, again to unlock it. Try to take care of yourself. Where did he go? Newton, where did you go, my friend? I'm guessing they're walking around the docks here. I need to find a way to cure your migraine, and I need to find Newton to give him some cold medicine. I have to make it first, of course. Wait, is... Are they hiding somewhere where I cannot see them? I not not see them, but like... Not interact with them? I, yeah, yeah, they're hiding inside this one. I cannot go in. It's locked, all right. So I'll need to get them whenever they're outside of that area. Oh, wait. We have all of the... We have all of the hands for you. Okay. What about... You... Almost all of it. You have two diseases. What is your second disease? Apart from the migraine. Oh, let's see. We can eavesdrop. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I, I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. <sighs> we survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Fuck the wall, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the wall. Fuck them all. Does it give us hints or anything with this one? It doesn't. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and brew up some cold medicine for uh, all, uh, New Newton. I don't remember. Was it Newton? Also, who do I need to speak to? Strickland, where is Strickland? That's... Strickland, there he is. Where are you? You are Strickland. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Any personal questions they can ask? I can't. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Aykroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. 
I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Okay. There is nothing here. There is nothing on the personal questions. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments. Okay, I may try to maybe that's where I get the... I help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Maybe I'm gonna get the to other medicine now. Like the, the rest of the recipes. from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. As there is only one thing left, we do have all the hints for him. Or more like all the clues for him. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. I'm so tired. Will this shift never end? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. I'm surprised this one is still staying open like this. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Okay. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Let's see, can I get anything else from... Good evening, ones? Dr. Strickland. And good evening to... Did you know Dr. Ackroyd never reported your experimental research? Despite the fact he doesn't agree with it. Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My God, he can be so irritating. Is it still giving me that option? Maybe further down the road it's gonna... Where did the, the other doctor go? There he is. I'm quite busy. I don't have lost hint. Thank you for your time. So it says gather ingredients for one of the... Uh, wait a minute. Bring one... 
So they have the old medical desk. Uh, 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 uh. I think I should have everything. Uh, I'm doing good, uh, Chicky. I'm doing good. I'm really enjoying this game, by the way. It's quite uh, interesting. I like the storyline. Definitely. I was definitely sur surprised because the reviews on it were very mixed. They were either very positive or very bad. Oh, cold medicine. Uh, which one was the cold? This one was the cold. I can craft one cold medicine. There we go. Still don't have the recipes for... Ah, over here again. Okay. project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Who's Ackroyd again? Aha, uh -huh, so this chat is Ackroyd and uh, where is Strickland? There he is. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. Hmm, I got a key now. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I will not let you down, my boy. This hospital seems to be falling apart. Good evening, sir. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the oh, doubt. Sweet girl. Reads me like a book. I never could keep anything from her. Oh, it's above me. Oh my god, and I'm looking here. Why am I looking here? But I'm doing good, chicky. I can't really complain. Was a little bit busy today, and uh, then whenever I was not busy started streaming Ooh, what is it's this locked what? all right it's locked at least strickland can't kill anyone with this formula it's locked all right all of these are locked some shillings my shillings now uh, so we have something here Goswick's medical of uh, Mortimer Goswick, male, age 23, uh, Volbado Ackroyd. Us. Uh, October, the release of the tournament. No, the patient shows many signs of extreme fatigue, major sores on the throat, mouth, and tongue, but no sign of flu. Refuses to speak, claims it is too painful, needs rest and healing. Throat mucus membrane membrane before any decision can be made concerning his release. It's locked, all right. I think that should be all the side quests here. Yeah, all the side quests here are done. There is another side quest that, that I have. 
but i don't know where it brings okay it does bring me to white chapel and i do need to go into white chapel as well um Where is my there is my personal belongings? Can I upgrade that one? I have only one handle. I have four of these. I need two more and I can upgrade the hacksaw. Again. Let me let me find um uh, what, what was your name newton i need to administer some medicine for him it's locked they're just hiding in there. I might want to wait for them to go out so I can give them the medicine. Maybe it's gonna improve the state of the um, district. Hola, Desi. Oh, I can speak with this one as well later on and choose what to do with the... Wait, can I not move around? Okay. Just need to do this. South work. Western docks, north docks, the docks, west end, white chapel. So my chapel. I think they, they went out. Is it? Oh, hello there, sir. Can I speak to you, please? Come here. Hello again, Mr. Don't Black. you dare run away from me. You're doing your rounds as usual. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Let's give him medicine. Some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Boyfriend. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Oh, wait, maybe... Hello again, Mr. Blood. Good evening. Is there something new for you? There is. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. What should we select? Enjoy your love and enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. I mean, that's what I selected regardless. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. It was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, 
There were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see. Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. But surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? I can see that. Uh, so we got all of the Good clues. Time, Take care of yourself. Uh, where is Oswald now? He said he doesn't like staying in. Pretty soon. Good evening. Eight. Personal questions. Newton is conflicted about his feelings towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad and angry. It feels like the beautiful thing we have is somehow tainted. It hurts to see him so lost. His love for you is genuine. I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings for you. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots' eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. Well, I'm guessing that's all we can get from uh, Oswald. Yeah, that's all. We are Goodbye, done Mr. with the uh, conversations for yourself. both of them, I believe. Where is where is the other chat? Details, yeah, all of the all of the clues have been gathered. So everybody excluding Oswald has been given medicine, but it's because I don't have the medicine for him yet. I don't know where to find the recipe for migraine. Hello? Opium. No investigation is there. Everything here has been done. White Chapel, Emperor Hospital, the docks, West End. Succeeded, succeeded. The dogs. You have unknown. That's that's bad. So we're in White Chapel. I'm gonna try to circle around. I will still have to find fight some enemies, I believe. And even though I'm walking through here. Hey, what is this place? Okay, I have collected whatever was here to be collected. Turn around, sir. Turn around. Hey, I'm talking to you. Best turn around if I were you. Maybe I shouldn't attack them. Maybe I can just try to walk around them, no? Quest is here somewhere. Best stay back, sir. Where did you go? Hey, can you hear me? Hello, there is some shillings here. It 
it's locked, all right. What is this curfew? Oh, I know about the curfew. I read about it last. Uh... Oh, you know that I'm a leech. I didn't do anything. Oh, that was not me. That was your friend killing him. Yeah, I can't wait to use the new stick. It's gonna be so much better. Ooh, I think we have all the handle parts. So that means that if I find a place where I can upgrade, I'll, I will take the... the there is a place where I can upgrade. I can upgrade, upgrade the other Chapel. stick. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Ooh. place over here I wonder okay I can get up there at any point in time this is where the uh, oh, that's most probably a secret stash of some sorts here oh no it's for the shillings Maybe this one. Ooh, okay. Nice. Let me see how many how many parts do I have on me now? This one's five. So I will be able to upgrade the other stick. So I'll be able to use it. And that one is actually a lot better. What's this one? So if I go that way Fuck it all. Stop it now, Stop it. Interesting, somebody just shot somebody Are you alright? The bastard at the wall next to me I don't even know if he meant to miss If you've been hurt, I can help you I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Fatigue? Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. 
Here, ten citizens. I got an achievement. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. You're being manipulated by these criminals. What's worse is that you're clever enough to know better. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Huh. Goodbye, young man. So I have administered some medicine for him. Bloody heart, boy. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. How so? Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. Everything's coming up roses. So you tried to shoot your own son? What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. What can you... Nothing. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. Hmm, interesting. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, just faked me last nerve. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar, a coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. Not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane 
from the Pembroke Hospital. Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it so. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Interesting. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Let me see if I can get some more information from the kid. Nothing. I went end up another drunk asshole littering the streets. He also has a migraine. So does he. I haven't discovered you yet. You're out of the picture. Sunday, you'll understand. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Who's your brother? Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Interesting. I'd like to see what kind of medicine. Let's see what she has. As well. Can be recycled in components. Should I? I'm gonna buy them. That's what we can recycle it into. What can I sell to you? So anything to you. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. As long Swan as you have the money. So we have found yet another um, merchant that we can trade with. When science fails you. And apparently the... Hello. Springs. <clears throat> Apparently, the other place where I can. This should be another hideout. Oh, 
also after the hideout I need to figure out the side quest that I'm doing as well not only the main quest this is the hideout so much blood Is there so many cigarettes around here? More cigarettes. Is there anything else apart from cigarettes? Is there a workbench where I can create stuff out of that? Because I need to... What is this? And the new hideout has been discovered. We have a workbench here. This is a refill. I don't need to refill at the moment. Uh, this is this one? Where does it lead me into? There is enemies here. They just seem to be lots of curses. There's a note here. Uh, blood addiction. Vampires drink blood. This may be their most specific trait. The sinister peculiarity of their condition. If I may say so, but for me, this is not uh, the most important characteristic of their diet. What has always fascinated me since I started to study them is the imperative need for blood they seem to endure they want it more than anything and this desire can drive them to expose themselves and uh, what they drink it and when they drink it they seem to feel some sort of short trance and ecstatic epiphany um said to me once uh, a vocal i interviewed in moscow I'm convinced that this is an essential element to understand the nature and conditions of vampires. They don't drink blood because it sustains them, but that it offers them ex ecstasy. Vampires are addicted to blood, all of them. It is part of their nature and those among the immortals who refuse to submit to their appetite by the strength of their will only are never freed from this addiction. From unveiling the night by Shirtle Tree. Okay. This is the one that we just found. Something here. Did I kill someone or let's say keep out here? What are these markers that I have made there? Ooh, toy kitchen. Dr. Cap move per the MDN, alright. <laughs> Where am I going now? I need to stay in there. I need to be in here. Please bring me back. I need the hideout. I need to update some stuff. Dr. Wolfbeard MD. <laughs> What does MD stand for? 
Does anybody know? It is serious. Uh, I'm outside of the thingy. But I don't need to be inside it. So I'm gonna go back in. Uh, most probably we need to fight the same va vampires again. Or what, what are they called? Sc skulls? And that's what they're called. Skulls. They're not here anymore, so maybe I've cleared the area out of them when I kill them. Ooh, box of pills. Gimme, 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 gimme. This brings me out. This is where we discover the thingy. This is one of the doors that went into was this one, I believe. Yep, let me go into the other one because there is another keep out door over here to the side. But actually, before I do that, so I need to go to the one next to the bed. Okay, let me let me go over here and upgrade some stuff real quick. Because we have another stake that we can use. Yes, we can upgrade it. Perfect. So I'm gonna upgrade here. There we go. Then I'm gonna upgrade this one. Boom. We got more stone from this one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into my character over here. And then I'm gonna take this one. It will consume more stamina for now. But it does provide more stone to it. So the real question is, what do I do with the other one that I'm no longer going to use? Can I like destroy it? Can I salvage it for parts? Details. Let me see, can I salvage it for parts maybe? Can. Or maybe not at the moment. Maybe I'll be able to salvage it for parts later on. Oh yeah, if I only didn't upgrade this one, I'll have a lot more left. Oh, two more. But it's still gonna be like two for the next upgrade. That I need it. So in storage, let's see what's in here. It says keep out. I think it's gonna just push me to the streets. I think it just pushes me to the streets. Oh, I forgot to check what the kid has. No, he needs... Oh, I think I gave him fatigue medicine. Never mind. I think it has... Tegan, I gave him the medicine. I have so much things that I can dismantle. Good resale value, average resale value. So everything that says can be recycled, I can keep everything else I can sell. Wow, 
Where's my side quest, by the way? It disappeared. Oh, it's done. Okay. So I need to fix you because you have you have two diseases, but only the migraine is shown at the moment for some reason. And this one as well. He does have two diseases, but only the migraine is shown at the moment. There's no investigations there. I don't know where Akesh is. Come here, Rata. I can't believe I'm doing this. Rata. -ta. This is despicable. Sure, but it gives me an experience for each other. I, I, I kill. can't believe I believe I'm doing this. But it's only when I need uh, health. Uh, let's continue with our main quest. I did all the side quests so far. What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. I must insist, sir. Please let me see Nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. There's nobody here. Of course there's nobody here. What am I supposed to go in order, in order to eavesdrop? Because this is an eavesdrop mission. I'm guessing. Maybe somewhere here in this area. Turn around, sir. locked I need to investigate his actions but there is no way for me to I will return later no one's there because we already know that he moved away but where can I stand for the eavesdrop? He has bronchitis. Uh -huh, over here, okay. A 
strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Cheap price, good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Welcome, sir. Could another merchant? Please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. A doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Right. So he does Come have the three options. Let's see what he has. So there is certain things that I can sell. And certain things that I cannot. Let's go back into the shop. What do you have here? You're just selling the things that I just sold you. Oh, I know, right? How, how dare he sell that, the stuff that I just sold him? And for higher price, he sells he sells it for eighty. He bought everything from me for sixty four. take these because I believe those are needed for upgrades fancy buying something sir you never lose your focus do you <laughs> how is business around here business I have no business between this racket theft and customers getting scared I'm losing money every day I see Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit. And no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. 
Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Okay. As a merchant. What do you mean? Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. <laughs> yes, she's a nurse. And quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. So you're angry with her because she's helping people? You're such an ass. You're the first one I'm gonna kill. Hello. Oh, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? OK, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Okay, Harry, I'm gonna scour your house for anything that I can find. It's locked. Chop refusal letter. Uh, dear, dear Mr. Peterson, it is my duty to inform you of our refusal to accept your application for a job at the dockyard. I must thank you for the time spent at our office explaining the difficulty of your situation with your ill boy and the loss of your beloved wife. Uh, but it is also my duty to point out the policy of our company which express, expressly reproves the employment of former criminals or convicts. Your unfortunate connections with ill and a wet boot boys have been duly noted. There are hard times, sir. Uh, these are hard times, sir. And Finch and Harper intend to reward first the candidates who pass the small inquiry. We we'll, uh, we'll like to conduct about our future employees. You have my deepest sympathy and may God be with you and your family. Okay. What is this? Professional vampire hunters. If you ever suspect someone to be a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance. Instead, contact me or try to inform a professional vampire killer. These men and women are rare, but they know what to do against these evil creatures. It even seems that some of them are working together under the name of the Guard of Ruin. Uh, Paramilitary organization dedicated to the eradication of the vampires in London. They are your friends. You are not alone. Solution exists. Solutions exist. Be smart. Spread the word. Burns Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. I'm wondering if I can convince the boy to give me the lock for this. <clears throat> and so now that I have. Even my dreams. Are so now that I have scoured everything. 
I have gotten everything that came from here. Let's so, meet, talk to you. May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like. Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Oh, I don't have any medicine for fatigue on me at the moment. I will see you later. Forgive my... Why should... You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Interesting. Um. So, is there anything else here? There's nothing else here. Anything else here? Not really. Let's see if he knows about Dorothy. Dorothy. From the Pembroke Hospital. I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. And that's about it, from what you know. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Well, actually, I can create medicine for the fatigue that he has and I can cure him. Is that his father? That is his father. Where's my study here? Let me get something to cure his fatigue real quick. Why is it loading so slowly? Do something here real quick. Uh, Where's my stream deck? There it is. I need to. Uh, 
второе. medicine now let me see what do i know who do i know so you're have bronchitis i'm gonna prepare to have for bronchitis i do okay so i can prepare medicine for him as well whenever i go to meet him there we go let me go as well Two more, and the next one is gonna need blue. So, I need two more of these, and then I'll be able to make level three, and then I'll be able to make level four after that. If I get one more of these, then I need six blue ones for level three, uh, for level five. Oh, I need uh, two more of these common handles and then I'll be able to level up to level three. I think I think the guy downstairs was selling from the common handles now. Let me go up to that merchant again. Have a bye guys.
time back. Where's the merchant that he is? Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus. Right then. Yep, I fancy buying this so I can go and upgrade my weapon. <clears throat> There's no one in. They must be too busy to answer. What is the kid? Mm. I can just go back into the study, fix my weapon. I just don't know why it takes so much time to go between scenes here. I need to go put some more water in my bottle afterward. To need blue handles. This one's gonna drink 214. Does someone more blood absorption? I'm gonna put this one instead. So I'll have more damage here. And the other one is not going to give me an option, so I will need to get the um, buff points. <clears throat> ah, there I have a better weapon. Let me see. Uh, what can I cure? I can cure your fatigue. I already have the... Treatment for you. I don't have anything for migraine, unfortunately. I have treatment for you as well. I need to find a treatment for this chat. I need to find treatment for this one as well. I got a better weapon. Wait, did I... Did I level up my stake as well? I need to check. I don't remember if I did or no.
Oh, I'm missing two. Okay. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, I'm not bo- Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, sir. Let's you feel medicine. better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. No, but loss he's recovering. Okay. Goodbye, young man. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you made. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. 
Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. And people won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. So there is one more... Um, anything else? There is something else here. There is one more clue that we need for him. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. <coughs> Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Judges your words and actions. The wars of men should not be your main concern. The disease of nature, but the punishment of a divine. Clayton, are you Clayton? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Hello, what the hell? A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. What do you mean when you all quite a you? I am. What do you mean? All quite a are you? Well, as a what do you mean? The bee. I have heard enough. Goodbye. Good. It's far. What do you mean? All quite a judgment. Are you? I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. <laughs> Tell me, Tobias, what, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad. 
and dangerous. Why irrational? It should be irrational in this case, no? A small time Torquemada, the Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues <clears throat> preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Right, so this one is done. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupting city. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. Okay, so we have new side quests now. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that nurse crane you mentioned. So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. I don't have anything else here. Goodbye. There's nothing else that I can speak with him about. Unknown. Who are you, my friend? Even now, he judges... Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, oh, okay. I'm new to Whitechapel. That's uh, Clayton. Perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? To be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? Okay. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. OK. 
Okay. Oh, you have fatigue? Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. What is a G goat? I can't ask any person I questions so on this one. an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? It's confidential. Speaking as a doctor, I'm sure you understand. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Interesting. Ah, I don't have anything Mr. else Darby. for now. Farewell. So we need to go find the other person that apparently talks to himself. Stepping away. I'm going the other direction because apparently I took a wrong turn. I ended up somewhere where I sh shouldn't have. You're healthy. Both of you are healthy. This is the mailbox that he was talking about that we're going towards now. Anything else here? Nothing else there. Yeah, I forgot that we cannot really jump fences and stuff, so I don't need to be on the main street. Find the mailbox. Maybe it's this one. Uh, Darius Petrescu's letter. My dearest, most beloved children. I am so sorry you have not heard from me for a few months. The situation alone has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish, and see that when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war. But there is also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty and against, injust and against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I am writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. Uh, that uh, problem is I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up now and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifices we sometimes must accept made the world a better place. 
Uh, this is one I must take now to feel useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. This is my, get my grandchildren for me and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold damn country. Uh, I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petrescu. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Uh, so we have that letter and we need to find somebody else. Hello. What is this? Paul, uh, because we'll go with a voucher for a free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. If you're sick, if you have no money, okay. Yeah, this is the same one that we had from earlier. I'm at the wrong place. Unless I'm not actually the wrong place, I'm the correct place. No, I am at the wrong place, no? But how can I get to there? Quarantine influenza keep out of this area by the board of health health officer. This one is locked. I cannot enter. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Goodbye then. So... How am I supposed to enter here? If this is the only way to enter. I can't tell totally jump. Can I go through the chapel itself? You are blinded by your false faith. I cannot. Imprisoned by your daily routine. Unless maybe uh huh, there is. This is the entrance that I need to take. Cigarettes? Got some bullets as well. Oh. 
this doesn't speak very good for uh, our other friend. Skulls taken care of. I don't know if that um, other one would have survived here in this case. There's a hole in the wall here. Oh, hello. Almost skipped through that one. I hear him talking to himself. Never mind, he's alive. In the cemetery. Some of us come to this world already touched by grace. There's a refusal letter. There must uh can thank you for saying your book of poem song for the Defeated City, which we found as interesting. Uh, and found us the first time as we told you the first time we received it. Alas in the terrible times a country is currently facing, you must understand that such title would be totally inappropriate for any publication. This since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication or none of your work. I'm sorry to announce you that uh, yeah, we'll choose to the second option. Now it allows me to open it from this side to go out. Interesting. Let me let me speak to him and see what he has to say, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy, but the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Peaceful? That's quite an unusual way to speak about the epidemic. 
and very inappropriate, I must say. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. I understand your need for solitude. But it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor. And my family despises me. There are both sorts of for his thing in London. Ooh. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not. I like that you can turn around the camera whatever you want to. Explain it. Stirring and challenging. In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. You have a cold. Do I have cold medicine on me? I don't know. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah... Uh... Will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Still, you don't seem to suffer from poverty. With thanks to my parents, actually. I'm afraid I would not be able to live on my own without their help. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. Hmm, we have all of his... Uh, oh, I don't have any cold treatment. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercott. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. May I Let's ask see. you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, <laughs> if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. A nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. 
I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Hmm. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Hello again, miss. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. She's gonna give me 5,000 well. experience if I kill her. But she's a much, much higher level than what I have to offer at the moment. Oh, we're here, actually. Not really here, here, but... Sorry, sir. No admittance. So, we need to do this quest at a later point of time. There was another side quest here. Oh, okay. So I need to fight those chats then in order to get whatever I'm looking for there. Hello. Very well. and trickery you are blinded by your whole face steady boys you've got one of them oh my god So were they hiding this?
Interesting, there is a lot of enemies here as well. On the ring. So this brings me out. No, 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 I still want to stay here. I still want to be in this area. So, I need to be on the other side, I guess. Over here in this area. Ooh, some more shillings. Don't mind if I do. They'll come quite in handy. Mm. Okay, so I see where I need to go. Staircase is broken, so I will need to dash there. But first, before I do, I want to check if there's anything else here that I can pick up. No. Nothing else here or downstairs there. Ooh, a weapon. I used hatchet, eh? Anything else here? This could be the box. Lewis thought he lost. <laughs> Some There's a inside. There's a letter. Do I get a letter? A uh, small box did in this the, the, the letter. But uh, there is no easy way to see it. Uh, so I'm going to... But we can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, he will crush him, and then he will kill you. I uh, had some good times together, but let's face it, I'm never going to be your Jane Lewis. You know, you know, and I know it too. So I'm ending this right here and right now. If you agree with my decision? I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again. You join me in time. Uh, and then the most important part of our story will have been preserved until the, in, until that day. I should forgive me. Bye for now, Jane Peterson. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Interesting. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Hey, wasn't there another over here? This is an arm top. It says Wimbledon on it. Uh, what was this there? That was just shadows, okay. Get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. I could have entered from here as well. Honestly, I want to see altercations, so I'm going to give it to the other chat. I'm going to give it to Joe. Cheap price. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I'd known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. It's never easy to find a new path in life. Especially after the loss of a loved one. But crime is certainly not the best option. We've all had some rough times, haven't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody will be fool enough to stand against the wet boot boy. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. What troubles him, exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Barrett, you had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Do you mean... you're Harry's father? No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. I'm gonna right. think about who I'm gonna give the, the box to you. You again? What do you want this time? Who should I give the box to you? Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Like, if, if I give it to him, something may happen to Harry. Good evening, Harry. May I? Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, I'm not bothered. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. 
Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. Okay. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Should I give the box to you? You again? Should I give it to him? I think the documents in this box could be of some interest to you. Really? Where'd you get it? I found it in an abandoned building nearby. I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, uh, letters about my boy. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, I suppose you're right. Here's a little something for your trouble. And to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Fancy bar. You never. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lip. Now let's go back to the main quest. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man? You and I. <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Figure of the Verkulakas. What is this? Uh, on my, of my many journeys, I believe I was the most mes uh, not mesmerized, the most amazed by my exploration of the Mediterranean Isles, and particularly the island of Santorini, searching for traces of vampire presence in these sunburned lands. Um, uh, Herodotus, him, Herodotus, Herodotus. I don't know himself refers to these lands in his four book and 
No, it refers to the island in his, not these lands, and to the island in his fourth book. And I'm personally convinced that there are many mysteries to be unveiled in this part of the world. Who knows that even today? Uh, the island of Santorini is still considered by some as the most vampire infested place in the world, way more than the Carpathians. Is that the correct pronunciation? The Carpathians and that its inhabitants are considered as specialists in the vampire hunt or the hunt for Vrikolakas, as they call this, cre this creature. According to the local myths, the Vrikolakas is a dead person who does not decay and who can show verm vermilion complexion as long as he is gorged with fresh blood. He cannot enter a house without knocking and getting a response. Garlic makes him flee. He does not consume under some but his skin blood. He's not he does not consume under the sun. What does it mean he does not consume under the sun but his skin blackens? Uh he can change into wolf and other animals. What struck me the most is that the same name exists with small variations. From Mediterranean seas of the Balkans, the Greeks call, call him the Verkolakas, the Bulgarians, and the Macedonians uh, name him Verkolak. Uh, the Serbians call it Vukodlak. A name so similar to the uh, Vukod we already know, mother brothers, just to be right. By the way, that is correct, like, uh, werewolves, here in Bulgaria, we call them Vorklak. That is, that is correct. Um, just to write a few words, now gives me the shivers. I'm personally convinced that the, we are here confronted to some of proto-vampire. Maybe they are a missing link between the modern vampires and the creatures that came before them. If God allows me enough time, I wish one day to go back to the Centurini Island and find the trail of this antique and forgotten figure from drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge. Okay. Interesting. They, they do mention my country as well. Right. It's locked. But no, it needs to be unlocked. I need to steal everything. Where, where am I going here? Going that way, no? It's locked. I can go out from here. And go out from there as well now. So this is where um, Dorothy is. <laughs> Yoink. I think this might become another uh, place where I can upgrade stuff. Take everything. This so seems like she's on the second floor. Letter to Nurse Crane, letter to Nurse Crane. London 31st of October, my dearest Dorothea. When you are uh, when you read this letter, I, I I make up for it now. 
Uh, when you read this letter, I will be on the boat that will take uh, Anton and me back to Brass of England. Was not for us, and I confess I cannot wait to see again the Pearl Hills of Transylvania as soon as so they're going back to Romania. As soon as we are there, I promise I will light a candle in the uh, Black Church and pray for you to survive this terrible epidemic. I know that you do not agree with this decision and that you are determined to be more useful by helping our comrades exiled in the East End, but Anton cannot wait to return to our beloved country and see our long-awaited revolution bloom. He is my husband, I will stay by his side. Uh, I know we had our arguments and our fights, I know you would have wanted me to stand by your side and help you manage this clinic of yours but now that i'm leaving england uh, be assured that if anything will happen to you if you ever were in great trouble or danger i would come back immediately to london with or without anton please think of me as much as i think of you i'm your affectionate sister theodora So we know everything that there is to know about uh, Dorothy. And I'm guessing I need to go up the stairs now as well. I need help. He's going into convulsions, Doctor. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Raz Van Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's turning. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalp! Hand me that scope. What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. He's still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor.
We've lost the pulse. He... he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. It's locked, all right. So what do I owe this courtesy? This is an... I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, Blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it... Go. Yes. All gone. Did that increase my mesmerized level? Oh, yeah, it did. It's level two now. What the hell just happened? Christ! He's dead!
you're one of them. Come over here, boy. So where the hell did they enter from is the question. Door has been unlocked. There is another side quest here that I can do. So the side quests here have been done. I'm gonna do this side quest. As long as you have... The money. So I need to go this way. I wish that we had a mini-map somewhere. This plate. Joe, please. I don't have your money. Come on, Barry. You know the game you pay for oh, this way. What is here? I did not see this earlier. Seems like there's nothing there. Just a place for me to hide. Oh, there's another blue one. Does it give me anything? Priest of sorts here. my weapon here this man stunned me with his face his crucifix this is not good news definitely not good news i do not know what we're gonna do They can just turn me like this willy nilly. I'm gonna be in a bit of a pickle soon. Whoop that butt. But hopefully, they don't whoop my butt, Daisy. This one drop anything for me? I don't see anything on the ground here. Oh, 
Well, at least now I can deal with much higher levels than me. <clears throat> this is very interesting that they decided to put in a leveling system for this game. The cemetery. to enter through here and that's where it allows me to exit from so maybe I just continue going down the path yeah that brings me back actually This is a dead end. Is there a hole in the wall that I'm missing? Because this one is not open. That's very strange. Do I need to walk around the whole place? I didn't notice you before. Let me see where you lead me to. Oh, I think you lead me into my... Do you lead me? No, you don't lead me into my thingy. There is other stuff here that I can collect, so I'm gonna take the opportunity. That's another hideout that I just found. Bullets. It's not like I, it's not like I need the bullets. It's not like I use the weapon. Right, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, a strange formula. There we go. Migraine. I can make some things for migraine. I'm gonna make. Who who had migraine? Let me let me have a look. So here, this one has a migraine. So we need one. I don't know what you have. Here in Whitechapel, you have migraine, you have a cold, and you have bronchitis. Benjamin Palmer. Yeah, that 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 one. Yeah, he has migraine, but I'm but I'm wondering who else has migraine because they don't have anything. There is a couple of citizens that we have not discovered. This one has cold bronchitis and uh, migraine. So we need two migraine medicine. I have one. So, treatment for bronchitis, treatment for migraine there is. This one is for migraine. We have two for migraine. We have one for bronchitis, bronchitis. And I need for the beginning area, there was this guy with fatigue. So we need to get one fatigue medicine ready as well. Forever, for whenever I need it. I can take these ones apart so I can get more supplies going. There we go. And now in regards to upgrades, can I upgrade this? 
level four, not yet. Can I upgrade this? Anything else? I cannot. I st I'm still missing stuff. I would love to upgrade it though, because I'm gonna get more stun, less stamina consumption. However, I do have a lot of unspent skill points, or more like experience points. We can. Actually, no. I first need to kill everybody. Because I feel like uh, every time I upgrade, it um, it makes me rest. So it would move into transition to the next day. And whenever that happens, it can make or break the district. And we have a couple of districts that are currently not very good. Like this one is in a serious condition going towards critical. This one is just set its foot on the serious... Uh, uh what's called in serious condition and uh it's gonna go towards critical well i i have healed majority of them so i can give oswald some migraine medication i need to find rakesh to give him something as well but that means that i need to go back to um the previous I need to go back to the previous location and I'll need to go through it regardless because apparently I cannot do anything here like um, in in Whitechapel there was some someone in Whitechapel that I need to see Benjamin Palmer who was Benjamin Palmer Richard Richard was here near the cemetery where's the cemetery this is the cemetery it's coming up oh do I have cold medicine for him because I believe Benjamin needed yeah he needs Cold medicine. Do I have cold medicine? I do not have cold medicine. Okay, let me go back and make some cold medicine for Richard. The homeless drunk who shot the, the sun? Okay, I uh, will keep that in mind. Cold medicine, cold there is, cold there. I have cold medicine for uh, the other chat as well. You were here when it happened, and you can have remember without uh, meaning to. Nice, so uh, the one of them is gonna be here. Let me see if I can go back in here. I can, there we go. Go in here. Where is this fine gentleman? Good evening, Mr. Nithikon. And good evening to. Is there anything left on him? There is nothing left on him. Should be. Yeah, everything is fine. You need medical attention, sir. It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I'm giving I medicine regardless. Your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. I'll leave you alone. Sir. There we have administered something for him. Um, this one is stable, but I feel like I should go back and like investigate more because we didn't find a lot of the people, and I don't know what's happening there. All right, so who else? Darius Petrescu. Okay, let's find Petrescu. Petrescu was here nearby as well.
<laughs> no, I don't know you. Who, who are you? Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. You have fatigue, eh? Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we have given her medicine. She is recovering from her condition. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. I only need to make a new fatigue serum. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to <clears throat> all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. No, I don't have anything else at the moment. We have discovered one clue, though. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. So we have discovered this lady as well. Which is... This one, though? No? Yeah. So this one... There is a couple of people missing here. And I have discovered you can give a lot of experience if I kill you. Uh, Petrescu, let's find Petrescu. his house like was somewhere here in this area
Let me go this way. Okay, so this this chat had. Good evening. What do you have, Can Benjamin? I help? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. A migraine. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir, but you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. Uh, so Benjamin has been given medicine as well. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. We're looking for. Uh, there is no. Yep, I remember this lady, so it was somewhere here. There it is. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. I have not talked to old him, have I? Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor? <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Oh, let's start investigating on this one. Name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor. But I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet is who that a follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Tell me... I do... Okay, so we're done with this one. Why does it still glow blue, though? Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Tell me... I do... Are you not... Are you in... Don't... Who is she? You say well. 
Interesting. So I do not know why the stills stands as like a blue one there. Or snow. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? Hobo? I have abandoned my people. Yeah, there, there was one homeless so person that like we need to kill. Be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. <coughs> Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago. And I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Perhaps. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life. And I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a beast, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. It's, this Tell is the everything. only thing that is left and I don't know why it's left like that. We've got everything from him. I don't think there is any other conversation that I can Goodbye, squeeze out of him. Well, I'm marked again. Oh, wait, does the map continue onwards? Are we gonna unlock other regions? If we are, this game is huge. Alright, let's see, who else do I need to heal here in this district? Well, I don't know what else is huge, what else is huge, Dizzy? Tell me. <laughs> Gamble people. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Petrescu, I'm gonna leave you be. So, I need to get back to the thoughts. But I'm, I have it. I have it. I have it. Give me a second. There is. Face red droopy eyes. I'd like to. But I'm. Is red droopy eyes. Good job, Cap. Thank you. This is the face red heart shape. So now, how do I get to here? I'm guessing I need to go all the way back. Then I need to circle around and go through this side here. I don't, I don't see any other option that I have. Turquoise called chocolate. And then. Um... Lovely. 
loading, 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 loading. What's loading, Dizzy? That one is an actual emote. Chicky is loading. Chicky, why are you loading? Stop loading, Chicky. <laughs> loading already. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. That's that. Okay, I see what it leads me to. Kill it, boy! Why am I fighting these two? Actually, it's more than two that I'm fighting. So every time he says that, somebody new joins in the fight. Fourth four ninety nine. Uh, let me know whenever it reaches uh, twenty bucks for the deluxe one. Burn it, boy! Die, vermin! Let's see, can I find some stuff around here from all the dead bodies? No, I'm guessing only the main ones that were like uh, the boss types gave me some stuff, and that's about it. Because I got this one, which is an offhand. Ooh, this stun as well. 
attack speed, stamina. It does have a lot of stamina consum consumption. It is the same amount of attack speed as the as the rest. Details. Let me see what is the 20 plus 3 is 23. 25. So it's base 15. Wasn't this one base 15 as well? That was base 15 as well and 23. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this one because it consumes a lot less time now. Right, so we need to go into what what was it? Um into Pembroke Hospital area, and then we need to circle around and come out at the other end on the... Oh, hello, what is this? Ooh, supplies. This is a dead end, but let me see if there is there is anything that I can pick up here. Oh, this is, this is where we did the... Okay, I remember this. There was a couple of uh, these chats talking the uh, crazy lady in the hospital from over here. Is there anybody that I need to heal here? Yes, uh, let me go and give him his uh, medicine. Which direction do I need to go to? They're over here, it's this way. Outside. Perfect. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons. But let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. There are. So he is treated as well. Good bye. Everything should be going back to normal in this Try district. To take care of yourself. Uh, there is this one that I haven't seen yet. I have heard of, but I haven't seen him, and he has. I don't even know what he has because I haven't met him. Unknown? Okay. There is unknown here. Where is unknown? Unknown is... I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end... The accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. 
Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Uh, so it gives me a lot of conversations with her at the moment, but I'm gonna skip I bid it. I you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Still says unknown. Who is the unknown? Oh, it's the person over here. I'm not sure. We still don't know who turned me. So, does that mean that someone from the district has disappeared now, permanently? No. Where is Rakesh? Sean. I don't know where this Rakesh person is. I need to be on the outside? Okay. What's up, Dave? They did. It did. Yeah, I can see it today, 5.32 p.m. Captain's YouTube channel or Captain's YouTube videos. Uh, I mean, I see it in Discord. Oh, on YouTube, I don't know. I do not know them. When, when I do, busted. Yeah, he is busted. That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. One more night. What are you doing?
Oh, he's a drug addict. Maybe, maybe it is quite a possibility. Yeah, I agree with that. It reminds me of Doctor House, by the way. Where I need to go. I'm gonna kill you. You're a leech. custom to playing this character now and i'm definitely happy that i uh, upgraded my weapons definitely helps out a lot i'm surprised that these chests didn't drop anything for me well, this one did this is that end i need to go to the other end there before I move past to the other area where I need to go. Let's see if I can find anything else here. Hello. Did you hear me? No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit uh, better use of the mechanics. What does this one lead me to? Interesting. It does take a very long while to go between like scenes, or like different areas. Because it's upgraded, it's upgraded and it's faster, and it's not a machete. It's a uh, what's it called? It's a uh, hacksaw. I'm using a hacksaw, and I've actually managed to level up to level three. I've also increased this damage by twenty percent. Uh, I have a new stake, uh, which allows me to do more uh, stun damage. I think I was here earlier, no? Maybe I wasn't. Never mind. You resisted? Where did you go? Come here. You little bitch. Thank you. They're very high level though, like they're definitely much, much higher level than I am. I need to be more careful. Wait, I got a new collectible. What is the new collectible? Extermination of the rodent. Uh, no mercy, no excuse, no forgiveness. The, these are uh, the simple rules all members of the club show apply when dealing with skulls. I'm not tired at all. Whenever you face one, exterminate it. Whenever you suspect a vampire of creating skulls, report him immediately to. Go Bansha and to myself, scouts are permanently threat. Uh, scouts are a permanent threat to us for these despicable creatures who have no control of their 
appetite order primitive instincts the only case when a skull when a skull can be momentarily spread is as long as he can provide us a really useful information spread spared oh my god the only case where a skull can be momentarily spared is as long as he can provide us really useful information for our projects and any other case London must be cleaned of these disgusting rodents the law of Ascalon. So this goes towards those ones, okay. Yeah, I'm not tired, Chicky, honestly. I I slept. So I don't I don't feel tired. So then this leads me to here. This is where I killed the other two, and there is two more here. Well, that one actually managed to hit me. Nope. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here yet, but I'm going on a crusade over here. Killing enemies. where I came from no? or I come from the other side I think maybe I came from the other side oh hello what is this oh there's a werewolf hello Mr. Werewolf how are you doing success maybe I need to be a little bit stronger for the world wolves at least in a tight space like that one well now yeah But yeah, Dave, uh, even if, uh, even, even if, uh, YouTube doesn't show you, I have it set it up for, uh, Discord to show it. And if it doesn't, if Discord doesn't post it, I usually post it manually. Also, I've been talking with my boss uh, recently. Uh, we're gonna start uh, from the 1st of May, from what I understood from her. Uh, but she's gonna start my contract on the 1st of April. A 
Don't tell me what to do, friend. I don't like being told what to do. What do you mean? Stay away. Ah, oh, that's why I needed to go to the other side because this door is locked, right? It's locked. Yes, yes, indeed. Same hotel. What do you mean? How many hours are you gonna give me? I work two days. Two days a month, two days a month, 12 hour shifts. It's like last year. Oi! You listening? Oi! What happened, mate? Lisa. We have to stop it. It's one of them. What does this one of them mean? Alright, this time a lot more of them dropped items, if not all. This one dropped items as well. So yeah, all of them dropped items. What is this area here? like uh, secret areas oh what is this area there's secret areas then so this one pushes me through It doesn't push me to anywhere. Uh, I have already taken everything from here, it seems. So I have been here. To go. Scare me, power me, pass me through. Stamina, that's for sure. Excuse me, why didn't she die to that ball? That should have been a death ball. Here has been. You don't tell me what to do and where to go. Didn't drop anything interesting. 
Yeah, apparently this is the way that I go for the cemetery. Me heal myself. I don't have another marker there again. Here enemies. Shillings, don't mind if I do. A hideout. Oh, interesting. Analyze. Analyze this one. I'm a serum. Still far away from completing that one. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Oh, okay. So this over here, I'm sorry for this uh, lights, the strobe lights that they're giving us here. Uh, so that, that, that there leads me into a secret area where I can, uh, where I can have a workbench and stuff. Did he drop something on the ground? It does seem that he dropped, but it doesn't allow him to pick it up for um, battle. Or more like while, while I'm engaged in a fight. You would like to call it that? You missed. There is a body here. Pull the shillings from the body. Now, where the, the hell is this uh, Samuel Apprentice? Something tells me that he's gonna be a werewolf. 
I don't know what, I do not know why, but that's what I feel. He's gonna be a werewolf. There's somebody that we can save here. Somebody help! I'm helping! I'm helping! Call me Van Helsing. <laughs> oh, you were the missing one. Hello there. Are you all right, Miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. Xiao Shun, okay. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? Um... She's not who she says she is, is she? It's locked. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. It's locked, all right. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Who's your husband? This one left me a little present. I feel like maybe Samuel is dead. And if that is the case, I am so blaming that. What's his name? That preacher? Preacher? Is that, is that the name? Preacher? I can't believe I'm doing this. This is 
would have found her. We're all in distress. Wait, so is that where he was? No. Look, I haven't explored fully. Interesting, this one is now opened. What does this one leave me to? Yeah, this one was closed earlier. Was it not? Where have I marked again? I have marked something stupid somewhere. game supposed to have DLCs because I feel like those extra areas there are supposed to be DLCs <clears throat> we're all in the stress hmm who is your husband ma'am Actually, found Samuel. It's locked. What does it say on the quest again? Inspect the bodies to find some of the disciple. Samuel oh. isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Now let's follow the... Holy moly, the blood trail then.
As I feared. Samuel no longer preaches the good word. She did. There's Samuel. Come here, boy. Dar, 12 October, Father of the Girl is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all the city needs. Tonight I gave him all I have my strength, my faith, my wealth. Uh, if it's not enough, I know where to find more. 17th October, Father of the Girl, and I went to, the, to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rasper of the Disputing, We're disputing the rooms to the last remaining resident of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick, awful, awful odors. On the last floor, Farwadikar found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Farwadikar knew before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. And we both helped him find the light. I cried then and I cry now as I write these lines. For I have never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Parvodikar is a saint. If it's not presumptions nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does. For it's a real privilege to witness such miracle miracles. 9th of October, tonight we both went to the whorehouse boarding the canal. I must admit I was very afraid to cross the path of Jeebles. Okay, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Uh, infections go together, explain father with her, but this customer... But their customers quickly get, get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The other was awful once more. Now of Satan and of the disease, explained Father Badakur before kneeling and praying for those two lost souls. The women were so frail and say they were not able to move on it through the... Petro on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. Oh my god, they were killing people! 21st of October, Father Walker is a saint. I only want to mock the holy man he is. Uh, he shall receive more help but as all the three prophets. He's alone, he needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need for the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. Oh my god, this this guy is hot damn. So they're killing people and this guy, this guy is a, a real piece of art. He, he goes in and robs graves. And I, for the first time, I was my third, uh, I was, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went. Ten days ago to see if any more souls need to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice. As the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not 
presumptions nor some full expression of pride are there to say we are we are one a path to greatness I'm, i think it's supposed to be on the path to greatness but okay so the holy father has been very very naughty and has been killing people left and right Let's pay him a visit, shall we? Oh wait, this lady has a quest line for me as well. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. You said that before. That does not explain anything. Who are you talking to? Why are you talking to them? Now let me go and return this one. Holy Crusade. I can't believe that these chads were killing people left and right. Nobody even noticed. My chapel. I don't need to fight. I'm not a fucking beast, I'm not a beast. Part. Okay. I mean, I don't need the common handle parts no more, but uh, in case I find a better weapon. For the last time, I'm all leech. Go and talk to you. Father Woodacre about his unholy sins. And trickery. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? That woman is as depraved as Jezebel, and she Jezebel, deserves okay. the same fate. Really? Why is that? This woman runs no medical facility, but a temple to the false prophets of science and debauchery. And she has many accomplices, I heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen dressed in blood? Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? That sounds she like, is the um... Of and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. That sounds a little bit like, uh, Lady Ashbury, you know? Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery? I sent... You sent a man to die because of a stupid vision. I have heard enough of your nonsense. Goodbye. Good evening. It's... Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sick. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Yellow Dave from Dave! <laughs> there, Yellow Dave. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He's very dead. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Your disciple, Samuel, stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous. He gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. Your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. It's true, I'm afraid. I still don't know why this... Uh, so we have all of the clues and everything. Level 5, mesmerize in order to kill him. There's so many people I haven't I've discovered. enough for tonight. Goodbye. We're all in distress. Who am I looking for with this one? I really don't know.
There's gonna be enemies again. Have they respawned? Please tell me that they haven't respawned. I just wanna pass by without fighting anyone. I think they haven't respawned. Widow in distress. Okay, so it doesn't specify what I'm doing here with her. But it hasn't completed the quest either with her. That's where I found her. When all the cemetery. I have killed everything on the shows here. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Okay, maybe I just need to go and like progress the next day. Maybe then I will see something else happen to her. Missing two people from this district. Let me go talk to Swansea and then we're gonna progress the next day. I have a lot of experience. Remember Cospital. What is this? Nothing, okay. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. Okay. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we have a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? 
Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. Okay, well then you talk to me. I have some rather bad news. That's bad news? Yes. I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. For chapter three, okay. Is there anything that I can get here? Not really, no. Those are both locked. Hatchet place. Oh, this place hatchet more damage than this one. Oh, actually, before I go do anything, let me see if uh, what's his name uh, downstairs the. the Ambulance driver has anything to sell me that might help me improve the state of my weapons. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. The patients are not fools. They know we are. Good evening, well. Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Always. The street. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. No, he doesn't have anything that can use. <clears throat> hey, does that. Does... I swear I see some reflections here and there and I feel like there is something that I need to collect there I need to confront the pets as well because he's a junkie What level do you need? You need level 12, don't you? Level 12, level 12. Yeah, both of them need level 12. I feel like going this route because this one is gonna allow me to stun them.
Austin Recover Time 99. Uh, I don't know which one I want to go for as an ultimate. Uh... Damage. Also, I don't know how much this is a one from me, a thousand. This one level 11. This one is level 14. Stamina. How much do I need on the other one? 3000? 3000. So I need to spread everything around and increase my stamina. This one does consume a thousand, it does increase the damage that deal with bite. Option with increase my health a little bit. Actually, let's go with that. Yeah, oh, level 12. So that means that I can go on this one. I can start putting here because this one, this, this one gives me stun. So I would like to have stun. We're at level 14 now. Disappearance in Whitechapel reports of mysterious disappearance have escalated in the past week. It has reached the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. How oh, this phenomenon appears to be a nationwide occurrence. Uh, statements of the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the country, Whitechapel, London. Yes, one once more the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities, even while numerous families from the, this district report to the unexplained disappearances of relatives and neighbors. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need to the need to their need for urgent medical attention until recently it was local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified good samaritans but the place now seems to be closed and no one has any news from that facility the, this uh, the, the missing persons Go to a more secret place. Have they been discreetly moved to a more official service? One day soon. One day soon, the London City Council's Board of Health will have to answer for this new mystery. W. 
really this one still keeps on falling even after choices considering the community color hub uh, reported by the press okay so these ones have healed now this one has headache it is going to more stable. Uh, actions have impacted the uh, borough economy, okay? Yes. It's not fair. I'm still stable. I have put this one into a more stable state. Headache, headache. So I have three headaches that I need to treat. One is tippets, and I need to confront them about. Prices and stock assumptions and this may have changed, okay. So I need three headache medicine, which means for headache, do I have enough for three? I have more than enough for three. It was three headaches, right? Headache, headache, headache. I make one fatigue as well for the the other Chad, which was over here. Fatigue. Nobody seems to be ill at the moment. She's missing? How is she missing? We left her. She was alive. These ones are done. This one is still a questionable. Okay, let me go to the merchant as well, see what he has. Where's the crazy lady? Simpletons, these nurses. Not you. The crazy lady I need. There you are. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. You're crazy, we know that. Do you require my services, Miss Halcroft? My condition cannot be understood by you, mortal. This curse is beyond your science. Well, until the day science finally admits failure, please accept this little contribution. Thank you, Doctor. Your efforts are admirable, though laughable. So she's all better now. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Oh, see, yeah, now, now that I moved into the other day, it allows me to speak to her and convince her to go back for you. You're healthy. Where's Tippets? That's Strickland. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Doc. Do you need my medical wood? There is no shame in helping each other. Many do do you need my medical? You don't have. Yeah. Goodbye, Doctor Strickland. Now, who else am I missing? If you have been trick to the three of tippets, I cannot enter. 
my sweet girl. I think Tippett's is usually killed in the f***er here. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Doctor... I know you're taking drugs, Corcoran. Why take such a risk? I need it to endure the long shifts. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. For God's sake, what are you thinking? How can you be so irresponsible? Irresponsible? I am devoted to my work. I am doing this for all the patients who need our help. I cannot abandon them. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I have no doubt about it, but you are still ill all the same. Please, take this medicine. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Reed. To be honest, I just did not take the time to diagnose myself. Huh, so... Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. He has been taken care of. Now they're all doing anything. Dr. Reed, I know that Pembroke will prevail. I will not let you down, Michael. You guys are sketchy here. Yeah? I was gonna speak to him. Come here, my friend. Good evening. Good evening. I need to check your shop. I'd like wise chop. Common handle. Oh, one of these. Yes, please. Do they need a common handle? Is the question. There's a couple of people that are missing. I don't know where they are. Are you coming after me? Ah! 
There was some enemies down there, I'm wondering what happened to them. So we have another one now, we have a fifth skill. in a row. Got some shillings as well. Oh, what are the cemetery? Please tell me it's gonna allow me to go through here. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. Oh, so now I need to go all the way back. I need to take the other route. I think it's because of the main quest. Yeah, so it's probably locked off there. This is stable. Of course, it's stable. I healed everybody. Let's go for the main quest, I guess. Thank you, Drew. I'm not a killer. No, I do not know what you're talking about there, my friend. your shillings there's some loot here of course Thank you. Did I go there? 
I had it, I remember this. Uh, let's go to Mary's burial. I guess. Is there anything else with his corpse? There is some shillings. My dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. Discreetly attend me. Okay, I need to pass through. I need to pass through this lady again. Zombies. Where do you guys keep coming out from? Come here, zombie. Let's play in a little bit more open area. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. <laughs> Ah, so now it allows me to question her and stuff. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little you medical hint, science okay. can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. 
Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, Another hand. we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Okay. Personal questions. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. Yeah? You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Okay, what else can I do? So this one is already done. This one I sent her. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees. But unfortunately, you don't see her around anymore. I wonder where she went. Let's send her you home. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead. For they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. I'm missing something here. Goodbye for now. Did her bullet and make her into a vamp? That's not how this goes, Dave. You can trust me. That's not how it goes because they have some side quests they need to do. Then I need to unlock levels of mesmerize and then I can kill them. But uh, I still haven't figured out how. I've killed only one person so far, and this one is this guy, Clay. Why have you not spoken to me? We will need to kill everybody, regardless. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. So maybe it's over here somewhere. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust.
Whose blood? Uh, Shoshan. And stick her here in this cold, god awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Why do I feel that Mary is not dead? She's a vampire as well, because of him. Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan. There is nothing you can do, but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness. If you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Okay. Need to reach the church. Is there anybody that I need to heal here? I haven't found these two, so I'm not sure. No, 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 no. So the more you explore about the individuals, whenever you decide to take them out. And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me?
Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Uh, so yeah, you need to learn everything about your target. Get them to as higher level as you can. Like for example, over here we have a couple of them that are like at the fullest they can be like this one, that one, this one, this one, these two as well. So yeah, whenever you kill them, you're gonna receive all of this experience from them. So you can spend it on your uh, abilities. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know... May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here. To lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Just know I cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? Hmm, which one should we choose here? Murdered, accident, or late to rest? I think we're gonna put it as murdered. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse, my dear Mary. Forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Okay. Meet, meet Swansea, Whatever the happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Clayton. Oh, 
like there is areas that haven't really explored. No event happened. Let's go to that event. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on, we can sort it out. Press this here. That's Rescue's house. What happened? It's locked, all right. So it seems to be in this area. for the opening some extra shillings here and there something this is all in dough to drop something let's check over here i don't see anything here that uh that actually has killed all of the patients here oh that explains what happened to you Dorothy. Oh my god, she one shot me? Blow season's the best way to evolve ammo. I know that it is. It's level four now. Hello there, ma'am. What do you have for me? To see what... We have nothing special. If I can even kill her with a difference between levels that we have with her, just 10 levels above me.
there's a 10 level difference, so I'm wondering if I can even kill her. But you know what happened to her? be able to kill her after all assuming that she doesn't touch me because i believe she if she's as much as touches me i'm i'm pretty much dead So I need to employ some uh, Elden, Ring Elden Ring tactics. Come on. Come on then. That's it, she's gone. Stop watch Blue Hand Timer. Medical voucher? What does the medical voucher give us? I actually made that grants a free medical exam. Now that we know that she's dead. Sorry, Dorothy. That's where everything ends. Kinda knew that that chat was a vampire. Or whatever they are. I'm surprised that she got turned into a vampire, honestly. Or skull, or whatever they're called. Defeated her, although she's uh, 10 levels above me. Merchant. Let me go to the other merchant before I go back. Because maybe I will be able to improve the stake. Going the wrong way. Over. Over here, huh? Yep, there it is. Oh, please, I d fancy bar you never right then. Oh, hello, he has everything that I need. Well, means that I can improve it two times, even. Thank you, sir. Uh, 
Ah, we're gonna improve the weapons when I get to Swansea. This is where I need to go. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Who are you? Petrescu? Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. And then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. I can kill him. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. I have this one from earlier. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. Interesting. Do you believe them? You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, Maybe I have found myself another cause. Well, let's back out. Are you living on the streets? Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. Why are you so why aggressive? You so aggressive. I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to hey, punch you right on your chops. What about your house? What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. And I don't know if it was thanks to me. Uh, we need to go and hide somewhere and kill him. Actually, is there anything left for him to do? You should be maxed out, right? He's maxed out. 2000 experience. Dorothea helping our comrades now that I die. Well, unfortunately, 
Dorothea is dead as well. Let me go back into their thingy because he had a little thing that I can open as well. Joe, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know. Did it increase my mesmerized level? No, it's still level two. I want to kill him. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. I was right there next to it. He did have a little safe in there that could open. Joe, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peace of mind. It's over here. And apparently now I have the key for it. There is. Shillings, lead plate. And a poem. Let's see. In silence she walks like the early queens. Uh, of forgotten countries where I sometimes travel. Though my long sleepless nights. In silence she walks. Her smile speaks for her ancient tongue. Pythia? Is that how you pronounce it? Pythia? Not only with a fool searching for their fate and I know her name. So I'm guessing that's what you roll for her. Um, which direction am I supposed to go? I'm going back and so I need to go this way then. Rescue is also gone. Level 5, level 3, level 1. Level 1. How do I increase my mesmerized level is the question, so I can kill the higher level ones as well. Where did I kill Petrescu? There he is. I'm still going back. Why am I going back? This way that I'm supposed to go. Oh no, I do need to go that way. This way. So and then to the right. It's one of them. It's mine. We cannot be defeated. Oh my god, they got me cornered.
Away with you! That should be enough for me to kill him now. When I do this, he didn't die to that attack though. He died to a whole different one. Who the hell are you? Oh, this one didn't drop anything. The priest. Rummaging underneath. How come these guys didn't see you guys here? But they saw me. And there is also werewolf. sorts of stuff and those chats above this has stopped me five shillings i'm taking those they're mine now over there there's one of them vermin you're a vermin You know, there we go. I do not know what these grenades do. Mumps? I have no clue what are mumps. Is in the medical condition, the mumps?
You. I remember <clears throat> you. Fear, be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. <coughs> what are you? I am the land. You are our champion. So... I'm not sure what they are. It's some sort of medical condition. The only other time that I've heard some someone mentioning the mumps was in an episode of um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and apparently it's highly contagious disease. You selected me, chose me, as shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. I don't know how much time I have in life for. My champion, defeat the serpent of knowing with iron. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? Oh, I'm guessing that's gonna, that's gonna happen whenever I kill Swansea. Can help me with this one. Don't have enough to do this one, but I have enough to upgrade the stake, right? Yeah, actually, a couple of times, honestly. Everyone's stake has been upgraded. We're gonna upgrade this one over here. There we go, and then I can upgrade once again and. Should I put stun or should I put because there is stun here as well? 38. Maybe 38 stun. Do I need for this? I don't have enough. Should I put more? Stamina consumption reduces stamina consumption. I feel like I should put it on stone. Having 38 stone, 36 stone would be nice. And then it's gonna be 41, and another is gonna be 44 stone. Now let's go talk to the Swansea. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. 
This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. I understand why he has uh, red eyes. But that's definitely that giveaway. Talk with Edgar. Uh -huh. Do I need to be here? I need to be here. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Okay, so... Apparently Hampton turned. I was planning to kill him eventually. I can take this one away. That's level 4. I can take her out as well. As you need my... Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Send us back to the docks. I'm guessing. my shop though so I'm not gonna kill him yet I can kill tippets though Should I kill her? Okay, there's something outside. I 
A new dialogue available with Lady Ashbury. Okay. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still. I'd Good. like to see your goods. Wise choice. It's a common handle. I don't need a common handle. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Would you care to partake in this meal with me? Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel. Stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What, what is, is Ascalon? Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Interesting. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Have you embraced this woman, like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. How may I help? Thank you, my lady. How may? Thank you, my lady. Keep on like pressing her, but I don't want to press on her. As there is nothing, so I just learn some random information from her. There is Rakesh. Unfair situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. It's locked. I think I need to be inside. As close as I can to him. And there is. 
You don't mind if I search your pockets? Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. Okay. So we, we finally found Rakesh. It's locked, all right. I should confront him, shouldn't I? It's locked. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. He has fatigue. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease How can I increase the reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. Let's see. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. He doesn't buy, he just sells? Interesting. That's Rakeshi. Needs level four mesmerize. It never ceases to amaze me. The dead seem peaceful and lost at the same time. Where was it going? Keep on placing markers. There is two shops. I don't know if there's two shops around me. Oh, I'll send him back to the docks. <clears throat> uh, so it says I need to do more main story missions in order to level up the mesmerize. Uh, but I'm guessing we're gonna continue with more story missions next time. I'm gonna go and uh, level up some stuff and then uh, I'm gonna end it for today.
Uh, let me go and level up some some other things that I can because I have some points available. Like one of the things that I would want to level up is the um, I have enough for that one to be upgraded. It's already leveled up. I don't have anything else for there. I also need lead sticks in order to continue leveling that one up. Could level up the revolver, although I'm not really using it. Or a shotgun. Oh, again, same thing. I'm not really using it. Let's uh, let's see how that uh, we affect the whole storyline or whatever we did earlier on. This one requires level 18 for the next level. Okay. Ultimate. I can upgrade the ultimate. How much is one? 2000. Byte. Yo. Endurance. I'm gonna go with this one. Increase the bite level. Or more like the bite damage. Level 15. This one is going to increase the health that I get a little bit more, actually. Reset. Back off. Not reset. My bad. I can actually fix this one first. Because I need some both points for it. There we go. No. Instant healing. I'm gonna take this one instead. There we go. And then we're gonna back out and we're gonna do the blood capacity. And that's it. I can confirm. Let's see what happens next day. Went into healthy. This one did not get affected, but it is. It's serious and it's probably gonna fall below because Dorothy is dead. So I'm still able, but I haven't really gone into it. Sean Hampton. Hey, Sean Hampton is the one that uh, ran away, right?
This two I'm gonna kill together. Um, I need to see when I'm gonna kill these three. This doctor is also three, but I don't have the level. Alright, we're gonna end it here. Let's see what's ha gonna happen. Uh, so it says that the district health is fine. We have 750 health, 130 stamina, 110 blood. Seems okay to me. But I'm guessing we're gonna return back on um, Tuesday to this one. And uh, that that that's gonna be it from me for today. We have been live for what like nine hours, almost nine hours, like two a.m. But right, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining chatting. I hope you enjoyed the storyline so far. I know I did. Um, honestly, I did not expect to be that interested in the game. It's it's quite good. It's really good. Uh, at least this far. Uh, no all of games grab me like that where I would want to play more and more and I actually want to play it more and more but I decided to reserve it only for the YouTube live streams and uh, yeah we're kind of like doing completions on games I have already completed uh, what was it um, Scorn and uh, Enshrouded we have had a 100% completion on both games and this is the next one I don't know if we're going to be able to make 100% completion but I will attempt it it has only 20 achievements and again the storyline is interesting uh, the combat system is definitely new to me but right, this is going to be everything from me for tonight guys uh, thank you all for joining me thank you for chilling and chatting appreciate each and every one of you and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow on Twitch. If that, if I don't see you tomorrow on Twitch, then hopefully I will see you on Tuesday to continue the storyline for uh, Vampire. And why does it say that I didn't select a game? I did select a game. I think it just didn't put it in there. Interesting. All right, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for joining the channel. Wish you a good night. This is everything from tonight. This is me. Signing off. Bye.